What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some more WWE custom figure. I said that backwards. Let's let's run it back. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some more WWE figure belt custom. I messed it up again. God dang. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some brand new custom WWE figure belts that you can make yourself. Finally got it right. Shut the hell up, Trey. You're a jackass. Probably went a little too far with that. One. Nah, it doesn't count. He's not a human being. All right, cool. So let's get into these belts, guys. You guys know that two times before we have, uh, we've done this video before where we've done, you know, uh, I think it's two different videos where it was, you know, uh, custom WWE figure championships you can make yourself where you take two different championships and you swap the plates between the two championships that Mattel gives us. No paint is required. No sculpting is required. It is literally just taking a couple belts from your collection and switching the plates out, you know, heat them up with a hair dryer. It makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to have a hair dryer just makes it a little bit easier but you switch out the plates you make some custom championships and you can use them for your pick feds your your title matches your action figure you know fed whatever the crap you're doing with your figures it's really cool to have some unique championship belts that mattel you know uh, hasn't given us that wwe hasn't given us that you know it's just sort of your own creation using what they've already given us so let's go ahead and dive in i actually like these i don't know if i like them as much as others that we've done in the past but um i sat down you know i was like i know i can make some more out of these i know i can do it and i sat down and it took me about 20 minutes and I came up with these and I would like to know your guys thoughts I know some one of them I've seen before I don't think I've seen the rest but let's go ahead and dive right in guys the first one isn't my favorite it's not terrible but it's not you know it's not atrocious it's the world heavyweight championship on the intercontinental championship strap so you guys can see here um, I left the side place of the intercontinental title on there because it actually uh, it makes it look a lot better you know the the world the world heavyweight championship the big gold only has two side plates it has the really wide one on each side so I think that it looks good this way and you know you can't really see the strap in the middle but I don't think that's a huge deal you know it kind of looks all right it's not again it's not my favorite championship I think that the mini side plates kind of kind of mess it up if it was only you know one side plate and you know th this was like filled in right here and it looked like this I think it would look a lot better however it's not a terrible championship it's a really cool idea but um, it's not the best executed so there is uh, I guess a white strap world heavyweight championship the next one that we have guys kind of looks like the NXT UK Women's Championship. I think that is what this looks like. Uh, it's basically the UK the UK Championship on the white strap, and I, I don't know how we've never put this in a video before. I thought we had done this one before, but apparently we haven't. I checked the thumbnails of the custom figure belts that we've done before, and uh, this one wasn't on there. So I figured why not just plug it in right here, and basically what you need for this one, guys, is the Raw or SmackDown Women's Championship and the UK Championship that comes with Tyler Bates. So what you do is just switch out uh, the side plates and middle plate and bam you're done with it it looks really good you know you could do this as a different take on the men's championship or you could use it for your women either one uh, I think both look good so there is that one um, moving on guys we have another white strap championship and this one right here is pretty cool what I did was I took a, uh, a raw or smackdown live women's championship belt just like the last one that you guys saw and pretty much just turned the I literally took it like this I flipped it upside down and then I switched the plates with the Cruiserweight Championship. So now it's a Cruiserweight Championship on uh, on a white strap and it looks pretty good. Obviously the uh, the holes are on the opposite side, but it looks pretty good. I mean, I like the way it came out. The white and purple and silver looks pretty clean and it goes on the belt really, really well. I mean, it, it fits well. It fits nicely, nice and snug. Um, the point of the championship goes up. It fits the bottom part as well. And I think it looks pretty good. This is probably one of my favorite ones, you know, when you, you strap it up it still looks pretty good like that so I don't know pretty good one I, I like this one a lot you guys know I'm a sucker for white it's my favorite color you guys can see there's a lot of white strap championships in here because it really you know it makes the belt pop off so there's the cruiserweight championship on a white strap so that one's pretty nice there the next one I honestly can't believe I haven't done this sooner but I kind of like this one a lot as well it is the universal championship strap but I switched out the middle plate with the Smackdown Live women's championship and so you have a blue and red championship you know you could do this is like Maybe you only have one brand, you don't do Raw and SmackDown, or maybe um, you do do Raw and SmackDown, and you just have uh, you have both superstars on both shows, and you could have this as your main championship. You got the red strap, and then you have the blue in behind the WWE logo. Really nice looking. I like this one a lot. I can't believe we haven't done this. This actually, we did this before, but it was on the black strap, the WWE Championship, the regular version, and so uh, the blue on the black looks better. However, I can appreciate the red strap with the, with the blue plate, so I, I like this one a lot as well. The next one is kind of weird.
weird, honestly. I mean, I really don't know where the hell I came up with this idea. But I took the Big Eagle Championship and I replaced the middle plate with the Undisputed Championship. And this one looks, you know, it's not the best by any means, but it doesn't look terrible. You know, it'd probably look a little bit better if you, you came in here and cut off this excess flap in the middle. And the, the more I look at it, it'd probably look even better if you took this this plate. If you took the big gold plate and put it in the middle, it'd probably look better. But uh, nonetheless, it still looks all right. You know, it's different. It's unique. And I kept those same side plates. I actually switched out the, the, the Undisputed Championships plates first. And then um, I didn't like the way it looked. It didn't look right. So I went ahead and switched them back. And I'm kind of glad I did. It looks a lot better this way. So that is it for that one. Again, I really kind of want to see what this one looks like over here. Maybe we'll do it at the end of the video. We'll, we'll see what that looks like. But there is that championship. UK title does not want to stay on the freaking desk. Stay on the desk. So that is it for that championship, guys. Moving on to the second to last belt that we're going to talk about. And this one's pretty cool because it's pretty much just a modern take on the United States Championship. And what I've done here is I took the WWE Championship strap. I took the United States Championship middle plate, put it in there. You guys know that we, we put that on the Universal Championship last time. And it looked really good good with the you know tying into the red i know a few people have done that in their feds before i'm pretty sure but uh, this time we switched out the side plates with the universal championship so that you have the red line in there so it really adds another element to it and i think the only way you can make it look even better is maybe like the inside of the circles here in blue and maybe a white wwe logo would really pop the championship off but it still looks good nonetheless and again it kind of gives it like a modern twist on the united states championship so i really like this one i think the red on the accents of the side plates really ties in nicely with the stripes on the, the main plate there and then the WWE logo of course. So that is another one that I really enjoy. And then the last championships that we have guys are more white belts and it is the World Tech Team Championships on white straps and these are some of my favorites as well. If you wanted a different take on the World Tag Titles, you know the black straps look good. These are some of my favorite tag titles but with those Intercontinental Championship side plates on the white strap, it actually looks really really good and to be honest with you, there is a slight gap. I mean, you really can't tell. Like, straight on, you can't really tell. I think if you start to uh, bend it around the figure, it may show a little gappage. But for the most part, it looks pretty freaking good. Like, if you, you know, if you hit it in photos, I think you could really use this. I don't think I've ever seen somebody use this in their Fed, but uh, I think somebody should. I think this looks badass. Like, I think that, you know, this is really, really sweet, nasty particles. And uh, it's definitely my favorite. Uh, it's probably my favorite tag straps we've ever made in these videos. I know we you we used the penny belts before, and we put the, the silver plates on the black strap of the penny belts, and then we put the penny belt plates onto the SmackDown Live titles, and then um, we didn't put it on the Raw tag title strap because that would look really terrible with the penny belt logos. I don't know. Maybe that'll be in the next video. Just see how terrible it looks, but um, I really like these. That That's freaking fresh right there. So that is the last two belts, but now that we are getting into the end of the video, guys, we might as well uh, switch these two straps out and just kind of see, and again, this is kind of how you do it. You pull it and snappy and bam and then you take this one you do the same thing you kind of pull it push it out do the same thing come over here and you will insert one side and then pull and push it through the other side and I think that's it right there and that is it so that is it let me know down in the comment section below guys which one do you like better do you like it like this or do you like it uh do you like it the other way with this plate? Let me know down in the comment section below. I kind of, I don't know. Kind of, This one kind of feels more snug. Like, this one feels better. This kind of looks like a boxing championship, to be honest with you. But uh, we, we did this switch in the past, uh, and it looks freaking terrific. Uh, I actually think a lot of people, um, I can't remember if, did I borrow the idea from somebody and I forgot about it and then they did it or maybe they just did it in general? I, I can't remember, but this this uh, this plate on this strap looks fan-freaking-tastic. Like, I, I remember this is probably one of a lot of people's favorite ones that we've done in the past, but there is that. Um, I'm going to switch that back because i got to do the thumbnail, but I really like that, man. That right there, the big gold on that strap literally looks like a boxing championship. Maybe somebody should do like a boxing fed and make that a championship. I don't know. But anyways, I think that about does it for all of uh, the WWE custom figure. I always screw that up. That about does it for the custom WWE figure belts 
that you can make yourself. I don't know why the hell I keep saying it backwards. Probably because it's 3 a.m. and I want to go the hell to sleep. It's my wife's birthday today, so you can go ahead and comment down below. Uh, happy birthday to Face Wife. That would really mean a lot to her and me as well. And we're going to go out and celebrate and have a nice time and uh, treat her uh, just like she should be treated. And um, uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy that. And that about does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it again. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and you learned something from the video. If you did, comment down below, farts in a bag. And uh, if you uh, use any of these and you want to post them to Instagram or something, please, uh, you know, tag me in that and tag me in the, the caption. I will be sure to respond, like it, leave a comment or whatever. But that does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.